So one of my fears when I started nursing was actually having somebody cold on me. I don't know why I had that fear because it's nursing. Not everybody's going to live. Um, but for some reason, that was like one thing. I'm like, I don't want that to happen to me. I don't want that to happen to me. But the day actually it ended up happening to me, right? It would, be, it would happen. <laughs> so actually, the day after graduating from my nurse residency program, um, one of my patients coded on me. I called a rapid response. The rapid response turned into a cold. We were in there for almost like an hour and a half trying to like save this lady's life. And the thing is like she was fine an hour ago and all of a sudden like she just wasn't on response. She was not responding to any anything. And uh, I don't know, it was just like, it was so hard because she was the first, like for some reason when I got report, she sounded perfectly fine. But then when we walked in to, you know, eyeball her and make sure everything was okay, she was moving around and stuff. But when I came to do my assessment, I was like, hey, can you tell me your name and your date of birth? And she wouldn't like verbally respond. She would just turn away. And I'm like, well, maybe she's in a lot of pain. So like, I was like, are you having a lot of pain? I mean, she did come here for abdominal pain and whatnot. So I'm like, are you having a lot of pain? Where is your pain at? And she just will like turn away and she just will move, like physically move, but she wouldn't verbally speak to me. So I was like, oh, well, she's a diabetic. Let me like check her sugar, blah, blah, blah. I checked her sugar, it was like 400 something. I called the docs and then like, I, it just, she didn't seem right to me. So I called a rapid response and then the rapid response turned into a code and we were in there doing CPR, hanging blood, hanging all these meds. And this was my first code ever. Like we've had codes happen on my floor but this was the first time that it was my patient. And I didn't, I was just like, everything I knew just went out of my head. Like, I was, I, I was a wreck. Like, I just couldn't believe how fast things went. Like, it, oh my God, I can't, like, I still remember, like, everything seemed like a blur, but I still remember every detail. It's because everything happened, seemed to happen so fast, even though we were in there for a whole hour. I'm trying to resuscitate this lady. And after like an hour and a half of CPR and hanging blood and hanging this and hanging all of this fluids, she unfortunately didn't make it. And like, I broke down, like I was a wreck. Like, I'm very good at hiding my emotions because I was at work. I didn't, you know, when it seemed like I couldn't handle this kind of stuff. But this was like my first patient that ever died on me. And I was like, oh my God, like, oh my God. Oh my God, like I didn't know what to do. And I had like four other patients to take care of after that happened. I haven't seen in an hour because I, I was busy coding this other patient. And when the doctors called it, I was just like, I just wanted to keep trying, keep trying. You know, she could still have a chance. You know, we, they were like, no, she's gone. Um, so we, the worst part actually was like cleaning her up and putting things. Oh my God, thank God for, my, for the PCAs. They did most of, like, I was, oh, my God. I, I can't even explain it. It was, like, I felt like that was my aunt, my, oh, my mother laying there. Like, it just, it hit me so hard. And I was, I started crying. Um, and my, my assistant manager was like, oh, is this your first cold? I'm like, yeah. She's like, it happened. It's okay. You did your best. You know, she tried to encourage me. And I was just like. I, I, and then this, even my whole day, all I could think about was this lady. I still can't, like, I had a, I had nightmares about her when I went to sleep. All I could think about, like, what could I have done different? What could I, just, should I have called rapid response earlier? Like, what could I have possibly done to save her? And it was, like, the worst part was, like, when the families came, oh, my God. I, th I honestly felt like I was crying more than the family members were. Like, I don't, it was just, like, it was just never, never in my life that I think, I knew it was going to happen eventually, but it just, didn't know it was going to happen the day after I graduated from a residency program. So I just want to give you guys advice. Like, all you new nurses are going in. I'm still a new nurse. It's going to happen. You will have patients that will code. Some will make it. Some won't. Like, don't beat yourself over it. This happened almost a month ago, and I was kind of still beat myself over it. But I'm like, I'm just going to learn from this experience, you know, and and go on from there. You can't you can't dwell on the past and you can't let it affect you going into the future. At least if it's gonna affect you, let it affect you positively, not negatively. Um, so like I honestly now that that's over, that was my number one fear. I kind of feel like I kind of faced my fear, even though I did that's not what I wanted to happen. 
um, I've kind of faced my fear. I know what to expect next, and I know what to do when something like this happens again. So got my feet a little bit wet, you know, even though it's a sad, sad situation. Um, I went home. I ate so much pizza. I just, like, went, and I was so glad I was off the next day because I, I, I don't think I would have been able to come back to work the next day after this happened. It was just very draining and... I don't know. I just, I called my mom and I called my boyfriend. I'm like, I can't believe it. I like, I lost a patient. Like, I can't believe it. Um, but it happens. It happens. And there is nothing that you can do. If some, some people, some men will make it and some won't. And I, I'm, I'm a Christian. I believe that when it's time for somebody to go, it doesn't matter how early you call rapid response or how early you call a code. If they're not meant to be here, no matter what you do, it won't happen. But that's another story. So anyways, yeah, I lost my lost my first patient. And I, I will never forget her name. I will never forget her face. Like, I think about her every day. And I think about her family and, like, what they're going through right now. So that's my story. <sighs>